Good morning, guys. We are here at a Buddy Small Lots that is looks like it's abandoned um, in Hackerstown, New Jersey, or I believe it's Mansfield, New Jersey, one of those two towns. But I can find out for you guys. I just stumbled upon this when I was driving down here. I was gonna dry, uh, record the uh, Arby's that's down this, I think, Route 57, but it turned into a Vietnamese restaurant. I'm assuming the sign was here. I never heard of a Buddy Small Lot store. As you see, the Cinepolis Luxury Cinemas right here, along with Dollar Tree, ShopRite, and a couple other stores on the right side here. This is the Mansfield Plaza, so I'm assuming this is Mansfield, New Jersey then. Let's take a look inside. This is the entrance area. I mean, judging by this, by the, the looks of the floor and inside, like the entrance way, like it's probably been a, been abandoned for like 10 years. I could be wrong, but it's always good to do your research on places like this. Wait, look at it. And this sign. Yeah, it looks like it's been still available for uh, lease. Something part of a wooden table or camera, I don't even know. It's kind of dark in there, you can't see much. They stripped everything out of this place. You can see the sign over there. Buddy small lots. It's a little blurry, sorry guys. Uh, I think yesterday or today was daylight savings time, so the time went ahead an hour. <sighs> Get a better view of the sign here. to the back as well. I guess this is where they had the registered counters. I'm thinking Buddy Small Lots was like, kind of like a, kind of like a department store, but this store is small, so maybe it was like a dollar store. Yeah, there's nothing in here, except for these counters. Okay. Let's head to the back. <clears throat> I was also going to film the uh, Barnes & Noble that's closed down in Hackettstown. I mean, not Hackettstown. <laughs> uh, Ledgewood. New Jersey by the Ledgewood Mall, but um, fortunately that looks like they look like they turning that into a different store. But it's like they stripped everything off, but like they're working from the ground up. So <sighs> there's the uh, Santa Polis Luxury Cinemas. This is where you enter it. The, the waste market over there. There isn't a lot of, I don't think there's a lot of waste market grocery stores in New Jersey. I've seen a lot in Pennsylvania though. Maybe that's where the headquarters are. As you can see. This is the cinema. What was it? I, I think I watched that movie, The Wonder Woman 84. I didn't really like it. <laughs> it's kind of, it looked kind of cheesy to me. 
Let me see the front where you can get the... This looks like a bar area over there. Cause they got like bottles over there. You guys can hear the... Sounds like geese. Yeah. Yeah. We're already in the middle of March, guys. This year is already going by quick. I know last year was... <laughs> went by fast for me i don't know about you guys but but i'm telling you during that pandemic time it was slow <laughs> it was like it was pretty rough it was slow especially during the lockdown but uh things are opening up little by little the vaccine looks like it's helping but people still have to um People start to watch out, still maintain their, uh, follow the guidelines, you know, you don't want to get, <sighs> you don't want to get sick. Well, they look like they have back doors, but I mean, like, I'm not even going to go through this, because it doesn't look like they have, um, they had a shipping and receiving area for this, uh, buddy's uh small lot store so gonna end the video here um and this cinepolis was probably something else because i can see it looks like there was loading docks here at one point a long time ago so it was probably something else back then so yeah, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Um, I got like, I think six more videos to do today. So the last destination I'm going to, hopefully will be a, a very good one. Might be a surprise to you guys. So stay tuned. Peace.